Hello guys, this is Chrysop and today I want to make a review of a new office shader uh, from Tracer which I bought a few days ago. I think it's a fantastic tool and uh, whenever you consider buying a shredder you have to look at one basic element. Each shredder has a norm which applies to it. D-I-N. This is D-I-N number 4 and this applies to the type of documents you want to destroy using this tool. The list of the documents uh, is uh, in a link below if you want to check which documents and what kind of secrecy they have and can be applied to which number. The list is also in the corner for those who want to check it instantly and basically it's the size of the pieces of paper which are produced by the shredder when documents are destroyed. So let's get on with it and see what's inside. So as you can see the outer box it's typical what's inside it's some protection for parts of the shredder it's made of cartoon very ecological inside we've got foil which protects each element elements are made of plastic of a shredder so let's start with this probably it's a top and oh it's pretty heavy uh, we've got We've got another support and a plastic container probably for destroyed cards. So the main part is a big, big charge bin for the leftovers from destroying process. It's made of 2 mm thick plastic and it has a window at the front which lets us see whether the documents are destroyed or not. You can see there are two little supports on the back side of a shredder. This is a support for this little box, which is uh, the one which collects the rubbish from destroyed cards and CDs, as we will see later. I install it. It fits perfectly. After installing the little box, uh, it's time for a big piece. It's very heavy and as you can see it has two rows of knives installed within it. It lets the paper be cut into stripes and then divided into smaller pieces by those pointing knives on the cylinders. So I place the top piece over the bottom one and this is how it looks. All the pieces together. Pretty neat to be honest. And what we can see from the top, there is instruction, this slot is for CDs and cards and from the front we have all the elements which cannot be placed within and thrown into the shredder. This shredder operates up to 10 sides, it has 3 modes of reverse and auto, auto is the model which uh, lets us put pieces of paper into this slot and it has a sensor inside then it starts working so let's get to connecting plugging our shredder and see how it works i prepared two documents which i try to destroy and let's see how it goes piece of paper a4 size as you will see in a moment it will start to work automatically Now it's stopped, uh, the moment the pieces of paper are destroyed, the system switches is off, which saves the energy, and this was the first slot, and now the second slot, so we've got several cards, we are going to check how well the shredder works with visit cards or uh, credit cards, so I place a card within a slot. Okay, one more, it's pretty fun. And third, on the side. As you can see, it doesn't work on the side. This is useful information. Fortunately, you cannot take it up, but let's try to push it with another card. 
and see what happens. Oh, it worked. Great. And now time for plastic card. Let's see how it will well it will deal with a plastic card. It got true. Now let's switch it off and see what's the result of shredding. So as you can see, all the pieces are divided. So as a result, you can see we get plenty of small pieces which are unreadable and if anyone would try to put them together, it would take ages. But it's a nice confetti. And when it comes to credit cards, as you can see, the cards are cut into two pieces. It doesn't cut it so well as paper documents, but still the cards are useless. So this is all for Kaizop. If you like the video, if you find it useful and would like to uh, hear more about the newest technical tools and uh, everything which is applied to technology, please leave a comment or subscribe. I recommend this shredder. It wasn't very uh, expensive. If you like to buy yourself such a device, I leave a link to this particular model in the links below. And thank you for watching and see you next time.